If you accept Jesus as your Savior, your name already is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Congratulations, you are now a child of God. The hourglass begins. You start to live your Christian life. Christianity is all about having faith in God. The Lamb's Book of Life is a set of names of those who will live with God in earth and in heaven forever. Revelations 3, 5 and Philippians 4, 3. Attending church daily to listen to the words of God. Reading, studying the Bible. Teaching and sharing with other Christians about the Word of God. Those who want to be involved with the church and Christianity do these things. God watches over the naive sheep in his hands. He also watches what his children are doing in this world. He is their good shepherd. The angels of God watch this couple. Lie! Honey, I promise I will leave my wife for you. These Christians are already married. They are committing adultery. The adultery of sin enters their heart. Their names are removed from the book of life. Their adultery sin displeases the Lord. He sees their times are live longer. He will give them a chance to repent and turn back to him. For the Lord our God is a merciful God. Two Christian men are always unnecessarily arguing. Why? Why is it so difficult? This the sins are still in their hearts. Christian child refuses to obey her mother. Sin of disobedience to parents. Christian woman flies to divorce after catching her husband have an affair. She also refuses to accept his forgiveness. Sin of divorce and unforgiveness. Many Christians love the world and the money. Many Christians refuse to obey the commands of the Lord. After a while, many Christians try to hide the sins in their heart from God. Do they think God is stupid? Proverbs 15, 3. Stealing, anger, swearing, lying, hate, jealousy, loving the world, and pride. Jesus saw the hourglass. There was about half left. He also saw their written names in the book of life were fading because their sins caused them to stray too far from God and to love the world more. He called his angels to go to the children of God in the world. His message for the children of God was to repent of their sins and turn back to him. Many Christians repented and turned back to God and some did not. After some years, the hourglass time was up. Angels, go and collect the children who just died in the world and bring them to my judgment. 
the angels went down to the world and brought many people who just died and were appointed for judgment. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne. And books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. Revelations 20, 12. Many spoke to the Lord on that day. Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? He called the angel to open the book of life. The Lamb's book of life was open and checked to see if their names were in the book. J.P. Smith His name is not found written in the book of life. Impossible! I was saved by you! I always prayed and called your name. We worship and praise your name. Your name was once written in the book of life. But when you turned from me, your name was erased from that book. By your practice of sin and refusal to repent and turn to me. That's not right. Review his life. You tried to hide your sins from me. You committed adultery, theft, gambling, lies, disobedience, unforgiveness, whoremongering, jealousy, complaining, and money loving. Mark 4, 22. For everything that is hidden will eventually be brought into the open and every secret will be brought to light. I have never known you. Get away from me, you evil man. The dead was brought and thrown into the lake of fire. Jesus gives his sincere warning to the people of God who still live in this world at the moment. Your name in the Lamb's Book of Life will be erased, removed, unless, if not, you repent and turn back to God at once in faith of the Lord Jesus. The End